Hi everybody, welcome back to Nature Boy 070. Today we're looking at, we're gonna be playing a fun game. Now we already know the shapes that we can see on the board here. We have a triangle, we have a circle, we have a square. And we also have, oh, excuse me, Mr. Chipmunk, the game hasn't started yet, but you go ahead and eat, go ahead. And then we also have a snowman here. And there's a question just underneath that reads, how many shapes can you see on the snowman? So how many of these shapes, the triangle, the circle, and the square, square can you see on the snowman? Do you want to count them with me? All right, let's see. One triangle, two triangles, see the hand here? Three triangles, another hand, so that's three. Then we have another triangle for the nose, that's four triangles. How many circles do we have? One circle for the eye, one cir two circles for the eyes, one for the head, that makes three circles. Four, the body is a circle. And finally, so we have four triangles, four circles, and we have one square. So four, four, and one equals nine. Now, for some of you, you're waiting to see what the game's gonna be, what the challenge is going to be. Well, in the next 10 times, we're gonna be counting how many nuts get taken off and which shape are the chipmunks going to take it from the most? Okay, we're gonna let this chipmunk come and take the one here. Okay, so do you think it's gonna be triangle that's gonna have the most taken out, circle or square? Every time a chipmunk takes one off of the shape, I'll replace it with another peanut, okay? So we gotta wait and see. Here we come, first one will start. So that's one for the square. So one for the square so far. So we have zero triangle, zero circle, one square. So that's what we're waiting to see in the next 10 times, which shape is going to be taken the most? Which one do you think? I think right now it's gonna be the triangle. What do you think? <gasps> Mr. Siegel thinks it's gonna be the circle. I don't know. What about you, Mr. Pigeon? What do you think? You're picking the square? That's okay. So I'm picking the triangle. Mr. Siegel is picking the circle and Mrs. Pigeon is taking the square. Mrs. Pigeon is hungry, I think. She's waiting for me to feed her, but I can't do that now. We're, we're playing a really cool game here. <gasps> Look at that, square has two. Oh, triangle has one. Is he gonna take circle two? He took the circle. So let's count them. We have one triangle, one circle, and two squares. Does that make 10? Let me see, one plus one is two. And then that's one plus one equals two. Two plus two squares equals four. So we've taken four so far. We're not at 10 yet. Hi, Mr. Squirrel, you wanna play? Go ahead, pick a nut. They're right on the board, right there. Here comes the chipmunk, but... Oh, squares at three right now. So it's one triangle, one circle, and three squares. That equals five. So we're not at 10 yet. So we still have a chance to win for the triangle and the circle. But right now, the square is in the lead at three times taken. Wait for a chipmunk friend to come back. We're still waiting for a chipmunk friend to come back. He's out there in his hole right now. He's just kind of like burying the nuts and hiding them from others. That's going to be his food probably for dinner today. You know, that's a good thing to do. When your mommy goes and your daddy goes and gets groceries, they don't leave it in the car, do they? No, they bring it in the house. <laughs> See, Mr. Seagull's laughing at that. He goes, leave it in the car, especially ice cream. Are you crazy? No. We bring it in the house. We put it in the fridge. We put it in the cupboards, right? We put it away for later. Well, boys and girls, today is also my birthday. It's August 22. Can you believe that? Time flies when you're having fun, right? Right now, we're still waiting for our little chipmunk friends. What's that, Mr. Siegel? Oh, I know. They're coming. Don't worry. Here he comes. What do you think it's going to be? So we have one, one, and three so far. Oh, no. He's taking nuts out there. He's not coming here. He found some other nuts, but we have another friend coming. <gasps> the seagull is playing. I'm gonna let him play. So now we have two triangles, one circle, and three squares. <gasps> we have another circle. Yay. So now we have 
two triangles, two circles, three squares. Can you help me count that? So two here, two here, and three here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven shapes have been taken so far. Go ahead, Mr. Squirrel, you can play the game. <gasps> Triangle has now tied the square. So it's three, two, three. That's eight. We have two left. Who will win the game? Woohoo! Triangle gets another one. Let's see if our friend takes another one out there. So far, Triangle is in the lead. It has four, two, and three. So four triangles, two circles, and three squares. That means if, if Triangle gets another one, it wins. If Circle gets one, it's not going to win because it, it needs two more. But Square, if it gets one, it will tie the game. So if Square gets taken, it's a tie game. If Triangle gets taken, Triangle wins. If you've picked, if you've picked Circle, it's okay. <gasps> square ties the game. And there we go. We're going to let our friends eat now. Thank you for playing today's challenge. Now remember, look around your house and look around where you walk and find these shapes. The triangle, the circle, and the square. And see how many you can count. That's your challenge to take home today. But for today, the winner was a tie game between square and triangle. What's that? You want me to put more nuts? Okay. And see if somebody takes it. We're going to go into overtime. Oh, and triangle wins. So triangle wins the game, folks. Thank you for playing. And I'll talk to you in the next challenge. Challenge number seven. We'll be looking at numbers. What's that, Mr. Siegel? Okay, yes. Relax. We're going to go from number 20 to 30. I'll see you then. Bye for now.